things are going wrong here. <laughs> Welcome to um, Stack Attack Part 3 of the 750. This is a slightly different format to what I usually do them because I thought that uh, I would, you know, just try something different because I like fiddling around with cameras and stuff and that. It's, uh, it's part of... I don't know, it's just become part of me doing uh, these videos of the, of the collection, the 78 hobby and everything. It's sort of got intertwined with the videos and the channel. So, um, hmm. What the hell? <laughs> this is, this is um, from the 750. It's one of those uh, cases that you normally get, like, you know, they fall apart. They're only made out of cardboard. And this is probably about 80 years old. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like a double layer thick cardboard and then covered in uh, in some sort of rexine and that. But uh, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's old, so it's, it's, it's allowed to fall apart. This is the one I found that Sing 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 in, the 12 inch version with uh, um, uh, Benny Goodman. I'm really pleased I was. So I took, I actually, I just pulled it out like that. I think I did a video and I, sh I, I rushed and got it and showed it off. And I was like, oh, here it is. Like, you know, look what I found. <laughs> and it was great because it actually replaces a very bad copy that I've got, a very poor condition copy with a really nice clean copy. So I was really chuffed with that. So that was, to me, that was a good find out of the 750 because it, it uh, eats away at that £100 that I paid for it. I paid £100 for the 750 and uh, so far I've got a bit of that money back as in I was going to get myself another copy one day and they usually sell on eBay for around about £25 I think so it's £25 off the 100 so that's £75 it owes me still <laughs> so anyway hopefully this will work and you'll get to see what I'll find so Let's start pulling them out and see what we got. Right, so that's not looking very good. It's uh, possibly a classical. <laughs> I'm not keen on the classical ones. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Oh, it's the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Part one. So it must be part, part two. Yes. So we've got the Sorcerer's Apprentice, part one and part two. That is not actually... I like that because that's one of my favourite classical pieces. Oh, it's super shiny. Look at this. Look at this. Super shiny. Oh, it's in nice condition. That is in nice condition. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep this because it, because it is one of my favourite pieces. Um, it always reminds me of the Mickey Mouse one uh, version that um, uh, Walt Disney done from uh, that film he did with all the classics. I can't remember the name of it. I'm sure somebody will remind me in the comments below. That's a keep. That's a definite keep. So are they all going to be as good as this? Oh, this one's not got a... Oh, okay. What we got here? I can't get started. Bunny Berrigan and his orchestra with a vocal refrain by Bunny, Bunny Berrigan. So... And on the other side is the Prisoner's Song, Foxtrot. They're both Foxtrots. I'm a happy bunny. It's another 12 inch Foxtrot. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Well, how good is that? That's brilliant. Oh, I'm so happy. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. So that goes on a definite keep. And that's, that's only the second 12 inch uh, a jazz record I think I've ever come across um, brilliant um, so we better get on to the next one. Oh, Columbia <laughs> look at this look at this oh and it's in nice condition again Right, this is, oh, okay. Um, it's not one I know. I don't think it's a Foxtrot, but it is Paul Whiteman and his orchestra. And it's Tchaikovskina. Tchaikovskina. 
or something like that. So you'll have a look. Can you see that? Is that coming up? I hope so. And then the other side is that. That, well, again, that's going to be a keep. Uh, that's, got, that's going to be a keep. That's going to be a keep. So, wow. Not not doing too bad so far. I've got to move things about because I'm going to break things. I'm going to have a slurp. Mmm. Ah, nice. Is they all going to be? Are they all going to be like this? <laughs> what have we got here? No, I don't know this. The Perrine Et Savanti. Nice condition. And Les Tross Clutches by Edith Edith Piaf and Les Companions de la Chanson. It's French, isn't it? Anyway, here we go. Look on the other side. I hope this is working because I'm using two, as you can probably guess, I'm using two cameras. So I'm going to put it on a key because I need to listen to it. I, I don't really know. I don't really know um, what that's going to sound like. And what else have we got? <laughs> oh my goodness me. Bill Street Blues, Tommy Dorsey and his orchestra. Stop, look and listen. Tommy Dorsey and his orchestra on a 12 inch. Fantastic. What's the quality like? Superb. There's a little chip. There's a little chip just there. But it's not gone into the grooves. Oh, brilliant. Look at this. Can you see that? I hope you can see this. Otherwise, I'm going to have to refilm. Oh. Well, what I'm going to do is I'll stick the uh, photos up. It might be easier for me just to stick the photos up. So I'll do that from now on. I'll do that. I'll I'll do the uh, the photos. Ha ha ha! This is really good. Wow, what a what a find! And what we got here? I tell you what, I am really really so excited. This is Song of India, Paul Whiteman and his orchestra, and on the other side is Liberstrium by Paul Whiteman and his orchestra. Fantastic. So I'll take a photo of this. It'll be up there now. You can see it. Fantastic. What a great find. Oh my goodness me. Oh, uh, calm down, Chris. It can't be all like this, can they, surely? Oh dear. I already think that my uh, my investment in this uh, in this uh, in this collection is already paying off just on this box alone, really. Um, right, this is in a modern sleeve. Please say Foxtrot Concerto for clarinet, Artie Shaw and his orchestra, and on the other side is again Concerto for clarinet. Uh, again, Artie Short and his. So I'm going to put this up as a um, as a picture. This means more work for me doing it like this, actually. So it might be the last time I do this type. Fantastic! Ah, oh, this is is the hundred pounds that I invested going to be recouped in this box alone? That's what I'm thinking. What's this one? Overture, oh, Fingal's Cave. Fingal's Cave, that's a classic, isn't it? It's not one I would normally keep. I'll be honest with you guys, it's not one I would normally keep. Um, but 
at the moment I'm going to keep it. Uh, hoo -hoo. What else have we got? And honestly, I'll tell you now, I do not know what was it on. The only, the only reason I knew the Sing Sing was in here because I sort of opened it and looked down and I could see, I could just see, see it. And I just pulled it out and went, ah, oh. oh, this is a capital. And it's uh, Stan Kenton. Uh, and it's called something I can't quite make out. And on the other side is Lonesome Road. Nice condition again. We like them like this, don't we? Hmm. I'm not sure on this one. I'm not sure it's going to be something like this. I'm not a big fan of Stan Kenton. So I'll put it on a keep. It's worth a listen to, isn't it? Are we going to have a late night special 12 inch listen to? <laughs> because it sounds like that is what's happening. Um, the next one, uh, Pastique by Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky, Sympathy number six, and I like this one as well, but this is the third movement, first movement, hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna listen to it. Let's get the next one out. Harriet Cohen, Cornish Rhapsody, Part One and Part Two. Uh, probably something I'm not gonna like, but I am gonna put it on the listen to part at the moment now probably what i'm going to do is wait until i get comments on this and then people are going to tell me you won't like that you won't like because it's you know or you like it and, and then maybe I, I i will listen to it or not listen to it but um yeah i mean it's superb <laughs> this is great it's not the normal classic ones that you would i would that I, you'd normally get and say i think there's a couple in there uh right this is warsaw concerto uh, part one and and Warsaw Concerto part two um, Again nice condition uh, Piano f ah, it's a piano forte Yes, well, I think that's going to go in the reject pile. So we'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll probably uh, We'll probably probably I'll put this down onto the reject pile So we have got one reject We've probably got a couple of others actually, but uh, what we've we got here, Le oh no, it's all going downhill now. <laughs> uh, we've got um, Dance Macabre, Dance of the Death, Leopold Tchaikovsky and his Philadelphia Orchestra again, and it's the Dance of Macabre part one and part two i think these are quite probably quite good i think the person who collected these had some good taste maybe in, in classical as well or the sort of like what i call pop classical you know what i mean it's sort of like the stuff that everyone recognizes and goes oh i like this one actually you know so i'm gonna put this on the keep pile just just to have a listen to it now we're getting there to the end oh what we got here oh, careful now Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra, Wand of Youth, Suite Number One, and Wand of Youth, Suite Number Two, and this is of record number three and four, side three and four, I think. So, mm, I'm not sure about this one. Operatic, I think it is. Is it Slumber Scene? Yeah, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put this on the reject pile. I think that's that's gonna have to go on the reject pile. Um, I think we got one or two left. Anything else left in there? Oh, there's some 10-inch ones in there. 
Mm. Um, this one is... Um, I sold these the best dod. <laughs> I got no idea, have I? No idea at all how to pronounce these. Uh, <laughs> Love death, something. <laughs> Tristan, Tristan and a solet, something. Wagner. Oh, it's a Wagner. Is it? I have no idea. I don't know about this one. I don't think it's something I'm going to like. It's in nice condition still little bit of a little bit of wear or is that just where it's going to be a noisy bit in the uh no i don't think it's wear i think it's in good condition uh, i'm going to keep it no i think i'm going to put it on the reject pile i think i'm going to put that on the reject pile i'm interested in what we got here we've got some 10 inch ones here oh parlophone odeon series don't get many of these um trust tess tessie or something Trist Tessie, So Deep Is The Night, Miller Copin, Richard Tuber, Tenor, it's a tenor, it's on the reject pole straight away, <laughs> I had got told off for doing this, but I'm still doing it, sung in English, I was definitely going on the, it's definitely going on the reject pile, oh dear, so what are these last ones, was it, we've had a couple of good ones, we've had a couple of good ones, so, Parlophone series again on the Odeon series. Uh, My Heart and I again, it's a tenor. Richard Tuba, tenor. And uh, Dearly Beloved. Nah, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Eat to reject. And so we've got one or two left. I think we've got two left. Again, it's on the Parlophone Odeon series, Let Me Love You Tonight, Richard Tuber, and Night and Day. Night and Day, is that... Uh, uh, no, I, I, it's not going to be what I want. So I'm putting it on the reject pile. <laughs> Last one, is it? No, there's another one behind. Oh, what we got here? One Night of Love, Grace Moore, Soprano. And on the other side is Caribbean. Is it Carib Caribbean? Brian? Ben? Ben? <laughs> I think it is. I'm not sure. Grace Moore, soprano. Ooh, no, I don't think so. I like the sleeve though. The sleeve's nice. I like these sleeves, so I might keep the sleeve no matter what happens to that. But it's on the reject pile. It's definitely on the reject pile. Right? Is there anything else? Yes, there is. Oh, there's another two still. Oh, it's the Odeon, Parlophone Odeon series again. Indian Summer by this Richard Tuba. And Begin the Begin. So, no. That's on the reject pile. Is this the last one? I think so. Have a quick look. Yeah. Again, it's the Parlophone Odeon series. Break of Day. And Give Up, Give Up, Give Me the Stars by Richard Tuba. Or Torba, is it? I don't know. You tell me. Again, it's going on the reject pile. So there we go. So that is it. It's um it's it's pulled out. I pulled out some nice ones. And uh the jazz ones and the art is sure great. Um the uh the sorcerer's apprentice yeah i'm gonna probably keep that so anyway there we go thanks for watching this cheers everyone uh i don't know if i'll do this format of uh going through the sort through uh going through the sort through going through the late no, no going through the get it right chris going through the stack attack anyway this is stack attack part three and uh yeah not bad not bad i think i've probably managed to pull back another for probably about 50 60 70 pounds worth of the 100 pound investment has come out of here in some of those jazz definitely in the jazz ones and maybe even on that sorcerer's apprentice let me know what you think in the comments let me know if you think the sorcerer's apprentice was a good find or not and uh yeah just generally what you think cheers for now everyone and uh mm, 
I'm going to finish this pipe off, pipe off and my beer. And I'll catch you again on the next one. Cheers for watching these. You make my day. As always. Hmm.